Creation Crate, it's here! Hey guys, welcome back to another video review here on TechGooch, and I have a basically a subscription box type item. This is what's called Creation Crate. And this is a place where you can actually have monthly subscribe boxes sent to you uh, in a creator type atmosphere. Now this is box one or month or month one, I guess. Uh, and it's an Arduino kit. Now I have unsealed the box and I've looked inside, but uh, I'm gonna do that again here on camera. I haven't really played with it at all yet. And I'm actually gonna bring in a surprise guest to help me, uh, I guess, after I undo the unboxing to actually show what it can do. And uh, so yeah, let's bring the camera in here, unbox it real quick, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so when you get your first month's crate, uh, there we go, comes with some nice bubble wrap. And from here, I haven't really done much yet, so. All right, so we have an instruction booklet. Looks like it's a mood lamp is actually what we're gonna get here. And it's gonna have the instructions on how to do everything. And, uh, we have, I would assume, the, like the, what do you call it, the lamp type thing that goes over it. Uh, we have the Arduino board, which is, is a U an Uno uh, digital board. We have a USB cable to power said board. Cables to connect everything. Uh, the resistors, all the, the LED lights and other such things. Ooh, look at that. They even gave you some stickers. I am a maker uh, and tech inspired creation crate stickers pretty cool there and then a solderless breadboard in which to actually use this stuff so um i'm gonna get my special guest and uh we'll be back to actually play around with it a little bit okay so i got my special guest here Hi. carmen this is my daughter uh she's 11 and we're gonna actually i'm gonna actually have her do most of this stuff i'm gonna help her as best i can probably gonna do a lot of fast forwarding but we're gonna go ahead and make this mood lamp with the creation kit, ki uh, creation uh, crate kit that they sent us. So this is, like I said, the first step, and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So we need parts list, which we should have everything here of all the items here. What are we creating today? We're creating a mood lamp. Lamp changes colors and only turns on when it's dark. That's cool. that's kind of cool. So two steps: we have to build the hardware, and that's what we're gonna do now. And then there's programming that you do on your computer. So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the hardware. So first, let's connect the components. So we're going to need the breadboard out. And probably now is going to be a good time to start fast forwarding. download the program. You can get the program off of the RD if we have a website.
probably going to fast forward through this a little bit too, but basically we're just going to follow the instructions right here and here until you actually write the program. So we'll, we'll show a little bit of it, but uh, more than anything else, we'll probably just skip to the end after we get all this in here. Okay, so we are uploading currently. We had a couple just common spelling errors. We had an M instead of an N there. We forgot to capitalize M on mode for pin mode. And that was it. I mean, otherwise you did a really good job. But those little things, you have to make sure that they're perfect. So we're just gonna go ahead and let it upload and then we're gonna give it a try. So here's a little snippet that we found real quick. And we were wondering what was going on. We double checked the diagram. Everything is actually she actually set everything up right. But these little black guy ones here are temperamental. They don't just don't seem to be long enough to get a full connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those three with just three of the uh, remaining wires we had, um, which I have right over here. So just th these three wires here that we had left over from the mood light uh, instructions, and I'll replace those. It's not gonna look as nice because they're gonna be big. Oh, now it's actually coming in now. But these small ones, if I was to say one thing that they probably should do, and that's maybe even the case with these yellow ones too. I, I haven't noticed anything with these yet, but they should probably remove more of the insulation and have them a little bit longer because at least the black little ones, they're definitely temperamental. Um, where they'll connect and then they'll disconnect. So, Okay, so now that we've done all the, the figuring out and everything, and she did all the programming, which is pretty cool. She actually did a pretty, really good job. We found one error. It wasn't. It was a small typo error. It was really easy. Yeah. Um, but that said, she did a really good job. We did find, or at least I found out real quick, um, the reason that the uploading was taking a little bit longer than usual is because the driver that was available did not work with High Sierra on Mac. So I did upgrade the driver, and then it was smooth sailing from there. It was just quick and upload and done. Um, and, of course, you saw where I changed the wires out real quick. I do have that changed out. I just used three other wires rather than those little black ones were causing issues. So with that said, um, let's turn the lights off. And before you plug it in, let me get this okay. because these wires are longer. They're kind of, it's kind of funky, but I should be able to get in there. There we go. All right. So now we have our little globe. We have a, just a standard USB power brick adapter for an iPad. Uh, Alexa, turn off studio light. All okay. right. Plug it in. I think you're backwards. Okay. And there we are. So all three of them are actually on. You'll see actually how it changes colors. See how it's getting a little more reddish. Whoa, that's like a So you, you know, you took that breadboard, you added all those pieces on there um, to make this mood lamp. And you did the programming to tell it how to change colors. And so you could actually go in and actually change how it actually creates its colors, the speed and repetitive, uh, re you know, how it actually does it, how it mixes the, the different lamps. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, all three colors are actually going. Where right now the blue is off because, well, it's not blue anymore, but there's the blue back on. So that's it. But it's, uh, it's really neat what you can do with this Arduino boards and a uh, breadboard and some wires. It's pretty awesome and fairly inexpensive to be honest uh this little kit which obviously you can purchase these components less expensive alexa turn on studio light okay so you can purchase these pieces yourself and do it by itself but you're not going to have all the instructions like you get with creation crate uh, and in this case uh this is just the month one project they have projects that line up so it's a it's a monthly crate that you can actually sign up for if you want to do one month you can if you want to do multiple months you actually do get a reduced rate it starts at about 30 bucks a month for one month at a time uh, all the way down to like 23 bucks a month if you do like a 12 month crate series so you're just paying 23 bucks a month and you get all their crates uh, i have them kind of listed out here uh, mood lamp obviously this one month two is memory game uh, month three distance detector actually that one sounds kind of cool uh led dice game optical uh theremin and then two-player reflex game so there's 
there's some really cool crates, and each of these items, for a, an education standpoint, is something that she's never done before. And so it gets her in the door and thinking of how this actually goes. And I think as she plays around with this more in the future, she'll understand how programming does and how, how, that, how that kind of functions together. So pretty awesome job, guys. Is there a switch to turn it off and on? Yeah, go ahead and just hit the switch. <laughs> So, while this wasn't a step-by-step -step tutorial by any means, did you have fun making it? Mm -hmm. And would you want to do more? Mm -hmm. Do you think you'd like to do like the second and the third one, too? I think the the distance detector looks kind of cool. Like but basically I think, using... I think the memory game looks cool. The memory game looks cool? Be kind of like Simon, probably? Mm -hmm. And that's another, I think, Arduino setup where you get a breadboard and all that stuff. Uh, and they do have more than just individual items. They do have classroom type things. So you can actually integrate this into a classroom or a, a scout troop or a whole bunch of stuff. This is going to be kind of cool for Girl Scouts, do you think? Yeah? yeah. We can make our own, like we could get in teams and make different things. Yeah. So that's Creation Crate. Now these guys sent this over to me to show you. And of course I had to bring her into it because this is really or, uh, oriented towards an education type system. And I thought it was awesome. Uh, I... Glad that you enjoyed it, because I enjoyed it. And I think we'll play around with it more in the future. <laughs> uh, but definitely check these guys out. I'll put a link at the top of the description. I don't get any feedback or cutback or anything from these guys, but I do recommend you checking them out because they're pretty awesome. And they have a lot more on there. They have a lot of capability. Check out the site. See what you think of it. This is the month one of their Creation Crate series. Um, and then, obviously, I think they get more difficult as you move on, as you get used to it. So pretty awesome, right? Mm -hmm. um, thanks for checking us out. Make sure you subscribe, check us out below, like the video, check us out on Facebook, things like that. Techooch. She's got her own YouTube channel too. It's just under Carmen Schuster. If you want to check her out, she does slime videos and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, and if you have any questions, post those below. That's what that comment section's for. So with that said, we'll see you on the next video.